that interview that we had on SABC2 just before, we're saying goodbye to SABC2 viewers. Uh, it is uh, regarding uh, the recent interview that we had you on Morning Live. That is where uh, the progressive student movement expressed their concerns about the Department of Basic Education and they declared war against the department. Let's just take a look at, uh, or rather a listen and a look, of course, at what Kabelo Nteki, so the Secretary General of the Progressive Student Movement, had to say on the show. Uh, they are learning in a school with an open roof there. When it's raining, uh, they have to uh, bring umbrellas to school. Late, uh, I mean, earlier this year when school reopened, some of the learners were learning under the tree, uh, Leanne, to show uh, how the Department of Education uh, carelesses about our learners. The learners, Leanne, in Marumo Akomu, second, Mpela Marumo uh, Secondary School in Limpopo, who never wrote them uh, in SC, uh, examination last year due to climatological uh, conditions the department of education care less about this thing and then uh, we, we, are, we are again concerned about the schools that are closed shut down by uh, the department of education uh, violating the sasa act remember in the section in section 33 of the sasa act it says when the department uh, closes down the school they must engage with communities but these people do as they wish. They go and shut down schools. Learners now don't have uh, enough schools in Northwest. There are no enough schools in Limpopo. And then what they can say is to come here and say they're busy with a city program. Right. That's Kabel Onteki, so the Secretary General of the Progressive Student Movement. And we're still in conversation with uh, Laki Mudiban, who is the Deputy President of Courses, as well as jo John Mucheke, who is the Provincial Secretary from the Northwest Province. Uh, back to you, Lucky. Uh, just before we got cut off on SABC2, I was actually saying that are you prepared as courses to meet with PSM? Uh, no, we're not prepared to meet with them because we do not see the necessity of meeting with them. Firstly, how do we then meet with people who conclude on the street that uh, there are issues pertaining in our schools without a thorough investigation or without also uh, 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 checking with the Department of Education whether... Uh, these things that they are picking from schools are true or what? Because but is it, is it not true what they're saying? Part of what they say, I'm going to tell you what, we, we had the MEC of Education from Limpopo province about yes. a week ago here on Morning Life, yes. who was actually saying, yes, we do have problems of learner support material. Textbooks were not delivered. So why are you saying that they're not telling the truth? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying they're telling the truth. Yes, we understand and acknowledge that the Department of Education also has its own problems. But we are, we are struggling to understand uh, why are they including all other provinces, for example, uh, the province of, of, of Northwest? In the Northwest province. But they were mentioning each and every province with its problems. For example, they also made mention of the Eastern Cape Eastern province. Cape province yes. Yes, yes, yes. For example, we're taking into cognizance one, there's a problem of textbooks in Limbobo, we know. Now you agree that there's a problem? Yes. But uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm agreeing on the basis that I agree when they, they made a statement saying uh, these following provinces, there's a problem of, of, of textbooks. Yes. Uh, books have not been delivered. And you came here to dispute what they're saying. Yes, I'm disputing it, but... On what basis? But you, you just, you've just said yourself now, when I, like you, yes. Wadu Mela, Hora, there is shortage of textbooks called Limpopo, isn't it? Yes, in Limpopo province. Yeah. Now, why are they also including other provinces, whereas in other provinces? Because we must understand, there's a system for Hora Trivari textbooks and books from, from Lenas, where they've, they've been So what there. are you saying? Are you saying that they should just make mention of the Limpopo province? Is yes, that what you're saying? In, in, in terms of, of, of textbooks. Yeah. Like I'm saying, uh, as a country, we, we, we do have challenges uh, in, in terms of education. Now, we cannot then say, uh, for an example, Northwest is making means of ensuring that textbooks are delivered on time, but then when somebody is making statements of other provinces with a shortage of, of books, for an example, then include Northwest in the process. All right. Understand? John, now they're calling on the MEC to resign, the MEC of Education uh, in, in Northwest to resign. Yes, we are not agreeing to that thing. We must understand that the MEC recently came in. The former MEC was Wendy Matsemela. Then we went, to, we, we sat with Wendy. We told him, Wendy, how can we resolve the issues of learners? He didn't listen. Then we went out on media. So are you saying that during uh, MEC Matsemela's administration, there were problems within the education system? Yes, there were many problems. But Wendy Matsemela didn't want to listen. Now, because we have the new MEC with each rest Lola Hari, is willing to listen to all the issues and willing to resolve all but the issues that affect is, learners. But listening is very different yes. from delivering. Would you agree? Has he delivered on, on your concerns? Yes, he has delivered. Because most of the issues that we had last year, now in this year, are being resolved. Like, for, for instance, the, the issue of security. We had an issue of security that learners were being abducted in schools 
some of our learners, also one of our own, Bitumelo Damini, was abducted in schools and killed in a bush. Now, the Department of Education is starting its own program of security. They are placing securities in different schools. You must understand that we have many schools in Northwest. We cannot finish them by a day. But it will take a process and a central time to finish the that entire we know, schools. That we know. The fact that there are many schools within the province and uh, you know, responding to the challenges will take a while. Are you agreeing that there are indeed such challenges as mentioned by PSM? No, the challenges mentioned that by PSM are already resolved because they are small issues. They are not big issues. What are like those for small issues? Like, for instance, they are talking about shortage of textbooks. Yeah. In Northwest, you don't have a shortage of textbooks. This year, we are doing top-ups. Textbooks in Northwest were released last year. This year, we are adding on textbooks that were lost by learners, that learners lost. We are just doing top-ups. Now, all the schools are running properly in Northwest. We don't know what they are talking about. All right. Now, Lucky, they, the movement has declared war with the Department of uh, Basic Education. What's your take on that? Uh, it's very simple, man. It's okay. They must come and make noise and fight. Yeah. But what we're saying is that we are But they the made it clear that it's not a physical war that yes, they're declaring. Yes. yes. All right. They, they, they will make noise. But what, what, not what I want to say is that we applaud the Department of Education because they are also trying... Uh, by all means to ensure that this education in South Africa transforms. Now, it's, 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 uh, it's our time and our turn to also ensure that, as, as our, our parents, in fact, must also make a means of, of playing a role in ensuring that our education transforms. Now, the, whether they can declare war, it's okay, but we can say that Rona will support the Department of Education because whenever we, we sit down with them, whenever we have concerns and challenges, they, 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 they go out... They, uh, <coughs> They go out in Let me ask this question quickly. What have you done to assist the learners in the Limpopo province where there are no learner material at this point? What uh, has COSAS done? The Provincial Executive Committee of, 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 of COSAS in the, in, the, in the province has been busy with the office of the MEC in ensuring that they are pushing them. Uh, pushing the, in what way? What have they done? Because it's been two weeks since the schools have, 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 have opened. Yes. What has COSAS done? Uh, they've, 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 they've secured a meeting with the office of the MEC in checking whether when those, those textbooks are going to be delivered. And also they've been issuing their statements in solidarity with the learners, those who have, not been who have not received their textbooks. Oh, I'm afraid that's so where we're going to leave it. But thank you so much. Deputy President of COSAS, as well as John Muchek, Provincial Secretary from the Northwest Province. Thank you very thank much. You. There you have it. Morning Life takes a break. We'll be back right after this.